Welcome back everybody and uh, anybody that's new here welcome to all you guys thanks for joining me today uh, just a quick PSA if you guys enjoy these kind of videos I do a lot of how-to videos a lot of um, I guess you would say overviews and reviews uh, today's video is gonna be obviously thumbnail title you guys got it I'm doing a review because um, I've used them for the whole season normally I try to go two three seasons but I had a couple of people asking me I'm doing a review on the vulture tip-up alarm systems and uh, I'm calling them that because that's what I use them for. Um, I use them for my iFish Pros um, and other set lines, stuff like that. But you can use them for anything, basically, that you want to put an alarm system on that has, like, a uh, moving part. Um, and we'll get into that real quick here. But I just wanted to say thanks to all you guys. And if you guys enjoy these videos, please feel free to subscribe. Hit the like button. It helps the channel out. But let's get started. Okay, so as you guys can see, um, I will actually, I just thought about this now, but I think I can link this case below. If I can find this, I will link this below. Um, I will have the vultures linked below for you guys too, if you guys feel like picking anything up. But uh, yeah, I just thought about this. This is a very useful case that I went and bought. Your vultures, if you buy them, do not come in this case, just so you guys understand. I protect my investments so this is a you know little one of these guys i don't feel like saying it because i don't know how bad youtube's gonna be as far as like demonetization all that fun stuff so it's a case for your uh adult things you know or you know responsibility we're enough talking about that i put this together it took me you know a couple minutes really just kind of uh i really like this case because it's got these in it just so you guys can see and you can pull each one of those out there little squares but uh i made it so that this is my alarm vulture alarm systems remote so you have the ability to link all your stuff to this i'm going to go in detail i'm just kind of going over what it entails um if you guys order your vultures online what you're going to end up with is i believe the main thing that you would get is you would get you get one vulture and that. So those are the, the main ones that you would want to get. It's a combo pack. I have that linked below. So if you guys are looking, that's what you'll end up getting. But I have currently, what do I have? Six. Yeah, I have six. I wanted six just because there's six on here. And then, um, for instance, like if you go out fishing with a couple guys, I can run two because we can run three. I, I live in Wisconsin. We can run three lines. So I can put two set lines. So the two tip ups and then I can jig one. So then another person can do two set lines and jig one and another person can set two set lines and jig one. Or, you know, you can have six people doing dead sticks next to them with one, one tip up out. It just made it so that I can fish with a lot more people. And then, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over these guys cause I have them set up right now. But, uh, yeah, just so you guys have an understanding like this case, was just kind of a spur of the moment. I did, I measured my dimensions out, um, went and found a case, and yeah, it works great. I actually use it for my camera case as well. Um, so that works. So if you guys are interested in doing the same thing, uh, they come with a couple of those stuck in there. You take one of them out, and then the bottom's got a little bit of foam in it, the top's got foam. Um, if you guys want details on that case, just comment below and I'll try to, you know, look up the details. But like I said, I will link that below in the description, just like I will link uh, down below in the description for picking yourself up a couple of these. Okay, one more thing before I get into this. Uh, DWS Outdoors merch. I can actually track and see how many people buy stuff. And I'm not saying that you guys don't want it. But it is linked below in every description, and I've basically mentioned it. I try not to mention it too often, but it's one of those things. It's one of those big things that helps support get out and film these videos. Um, otherwise, it's kind of like, that's why it's, it's been sporadic since the, the new year, because I basically don't have a ton of extra money, and I have to wait uh, for the extra money to come in through AdSense, which isn't a lot of money. Um, you guys might think I'm making a bunch of money on this. I'm not. I'm making very little money, and actually, it's all going basically back into my gas tank. But, needless to say, if you guys want to support the channel, 
support with DW's Outdoors merch. It helps get the name out there. Plus, it shows me that you guys actually, you know, want to see me keep doing this stuff. I know I got a lot of new subscribers, so this is for you guys mainly. A lot of you older subscribers, if you guys haven't picked up anything yet, um, let me know if there's anything you want me to make for you. I have a couple of ideas for the spring here. Uh, I'm probably going to get rid of the hard water addiction line and my... Uh, Maybe possibly my just my winter line because I just have like basically winter clothes uh, with just DW Outdoors on it. So if you guys want any of that stuff, you better get it before. I'm probably gonna switch it all out in March here. I have to come up with a couple new designs, but yeah, if you guys are interested, link in the description. DW Outdoors merch, Teespring.com. Um, just check it out. Let me know if you guys get anything you like or if you pick something up. Let me know in the comments somewhere that you guys got something. Or you can tag me on my Instagram or my Twitter at DWSDave31. Uh, I'll put it right here. Or you can hit me up on my Facebook and say you got something. You can even post photos of it showing that you're, you know, repping me and repping DW's Outdoors. So uh, just wanted to put the PSA out there. Help support the channel. Let's get into this now. Um, one of the things that somebody had asked me... I believe the main question was basically just how these things work and it's, it's it's actually really simple I don't know the actual like logistics of everything but what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna try and set this up and show you like like firsthand in depth and hopefully you guys get an understanding of it and then I'm gonna kind of go over my review side of things because I want to be able to show you guys how it works and like why I'm using them and then how I've enjoyed them so far and I'll tell you any of the negatives and any of the positives you guys that have been around for a while you know I, I don't care I just I'm trying to help you guys pick something that's working um, and so far they have been so let's get into it okay so these things come assembled just like this um you will need to get batteries i just i went and grabbed one of those giant packs of these like you get like 30 batteries these are double a's um other than that though they come assembled and they come with a bag of these magnets is what i got um i'm gonna guess because i got six of them right away uh i'm gonna guess that when you get this and this uh you don't get a bag of these magnets i think you get one or two and then uh I think this takes triple A's, don't quote me on that. It's got little, these little screws you gotta take off the back of it in order to put the batteries in there. But they've lasted me all season so far, so uh, that's what you get when you get a, a combo pack, though. You get one of these and you get a, the, the sensor. Um, this little thing I put on here, let me. Sh I'm just gonna flip the camera around so it's easier to show you guys this, but I, I just wanna kinda give you guys the understanding of what you get so this, this, magnets. Uh, let's go into details though. Okay, so like I was saying, it doesn't come with this thing on here. Um, they come with these little magnets. They fit right on this little sensor spot like that. Um, that's your trigger mechanism. So however you want to attach these, these actually are like rubber bands that I, I, I bought. Them. They were on like a package, you know, like you buy uh, like gloves or something like that. They were on one of those. Uh, and I just saved them because I reuse a lot of things. I'm very unique when it comes to that stuff, I guess. But So I tied it on there like that. If we can get it to focus. You guys can see that. I kind of like locked, locked it on there so then I still had this loop. Um, and some of you guys might wonder, like, you know, if it's tied around the bottom of the magnet, is it strong enough to stick to it? And it is. Um, I like... I, may, I wanted these as sensitive as possible. Uh, one of the things you can do is you can tie like tip up line or like a pair, you know, some heavy duty braid. Uh, you just tie that to it. And then that's why there's like these little slots in here. So the braid, the braid can go in that little, that little slot. You see the little notches and stuff like that. And then, you know, you set it, you're setting it off and like, say this is the flag. So when the flag stands up, it pulls the sense, you know, the magnet off, and then the sensor goes off. Um, I'm gonna turn these on and show you how, how you turn them on and everything, and then I'm gonna kind of go over, like I said, the rest of the stuff with you. Okay, so these things have these little screw locks, fairly easy to turn. Screw them until they come loose like that. Now, mind you, you only have to do this at the beginning of the day 
when you start fishing and uh, basically at the end of the day when you're done fishing. So take it apart. I haven't really played with all the different options here. I don't know if you can let's see if I can get it to focus on that. I can't get it to focus right here. I don't know if you guys can read that. Uh, the top one says pull, bottom one says, or next one down magnet, next one motion, next one red LED. Um, so there's, uh, there's two different LEDs right here. Um, and then there's an on and off switch down here on the bottom. So I'm gonna turn this on. And you, so you turn that on and then a one and a zero your reset so you have erase and then pair um you're gonna want to read the instructions when you get these but you have to basically uh you have to pair your unit with your remote so now that i turn that switch on i'm gonna double check it. it's on so it goes back together there's no wrong way to put like you can't put these together the wrong way is what i was trying to say um screw these back shut Okay, so those are all screwed back shut, it's solid again. Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna place this on here. And now it's armed. So this is armed. Right now it's armed. I'm not gonna touch that. <laughs> and then we're gonna turn this on. So you hold these two top ones. Wait till it flashes. And now it's on. So I'm trying to remember through this real quick because I haven't used these in like a week here. But basically, pull that off. Got a nice bright flashing light. Like, you, you, <laughs> this can be super, super far away. I think the range on these things is up to like a mile. Um, you better check with your regs, your fishing regulations. But, uh, so you put that back on there once you get over there that rearms it and then you can see number five is the one going and if i remember right i think you just push it once yeah so you just you just push it once and that turns the remote off so basically like as soon as the alarm goes off, I know a lot of guys don't like the idea of, um, you know, of anyone else hearing that. So like hearing an alarm go off and then it makes everybody look for your tip ups and, you know, see who's got a bite. Um, you can turn that off. I, there's a way of doing it. I just haven't read it yet. Um, but I, I don't really care because I, I, I wear this around my neck inside my shack. Um, that's the coolest thing is you can sit inside your shack and focus on fishing. This goes off. You just turn it off real quick. And then, you know, you go out there and you just put this back on there. So this stops flashing. This is done making noise. Nobody knows what's going on. You, you go catch your fish. Um, but like I said, so I put this back on there. It's rearmed. But there's this neat little thing. And I think it's just hold, because this is number five. And you can check them. So if you see number five here. So if I want to make sure that my unit is working, so like this is, you know, a hundred yards away from your shack and it's nighttime, these are great for walleye fishing and you want to check it, you just hit it and it flashes. Now there's this other cool setting on here that, um, you can do. So obviously when you pull this off, it flashes the green light. Um, uh, I believe it's the green light or red light. I think you can, that's what you can switch in there, but you should be able to hold this down. I believe. And then there you go. <laughs> now you have flashlight mode engaged. So these, so like you're worried about people running over your expensive stuff. You turn these on all your stuff and you can have your whole spread lit up like this. Uh, so you'll know where every tip up is and everything like that. But it's still. It still flashes 
and it still sets your alarm off even though that light is on. So it's a red, the red LEDs there. And then off. So then, uh, so if I want to turn these off for the night, I think you just hold them down again. Okay, it's double tap. I had to go through them in my head. So you just, you hit it twice and that shuts off your flashlight mode. And then uh, what I like to do, and this is what I like about this, you can do this with a, uh, so you get a little alligator clip and you put it on like a, a certain length of string, depending on how long you need your trigger line to be. Um, and you just wrap it around it. But with these rubber bands, they just happen to be small enough that I can do that. So like if you're moving from hole to hole, like if you got a, if you want to take this and walk over there and you don't want this going off while you're like walking because it fell off or, you know, you possibly lose the, um, the magnet, then you can kind of wrap it up and do that. Or, uh, like my buddy had, had the little clip thing. I just wrapped them around these poles, these posts right here. And that kept everything, you know, nice and neat, tight, kept it on there. And then when you walk up to the next hole, you just unwrap it and hook it up to your flag. Uh, the best thing to do here is like, you, I mean, you can use this on anything. You can use it on my, my iFish Pros. I, I put it on the flag pole or on the flag. Um, my buddy uses auto automatic fishermen's. He just puts it on the, the rod tip. So when the rod tip moves, it pulls it off. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's one of the better sensors that's out there. Uh, the biggest thing here is there's never, uh, I don't think there's any way for there to be any interference. I haven't experienced any problems with it. The only thing I've experienced so far, um, was user error. And I think I put the clip on my flag wrong. And what it did was like, it was amazing. I didn't know how that I could do this. It like, it had like pulled it. Let me show you if I can get it to do it. It had pulled it like that. So it's sitting on those little rim things and that's like super sensitive. Like if you wanted it so like a, the wind could blow this off and you know, set your unit off. But it had pulled it up like that and that was where the magnet stayed. <laughs> And my, it didn't go off and I had a fish on because, you know, it didn't go off. It didn't, it didn't come off the whole way. So that's the, that's the simplest way I can show you guys how these work to your advantage as far as like keeping track of your flags. Um, I didn't turn this one on, but like I said, you can turn that flashlight mode thing on and you can have all six of them lit up. Um, you can light up one, you can light up two. Uh, the coolest thing is, so like you guys seen this whole time, uh, the number five was this unit. Um, when you're pairing them, I don't know if they're pre-paired from like the, the company. I don't know if he pre-pairs them. So like when you buy one, it's always one. Or if you can repair it and like pair this one with one now and then that one with two and so on and so forth. It doesn't really matter because it's just the number. So when you put them out, you can put this out and go, okay, if number five goes off, it's the one a hundred yards to the left. Or if number two goes off, it's the one just behind the shack over here. Um, and that's the nicest thing about it is there's no more like you hear somebody yell flag or you, your buddy yells flag and you're like, which one? You just, you just look at this real quick and you're like, oh, it's number six. It's, it's that one over there. And you run over there and you grab it. Um, I really hope that is a big enough breakdown and you guys get an understanding of like how all of this is like put together. All right, guys. So like I was saying, I hope this really gives you all the details needed to kind of make a decision whether you're going to pick these up or not. Um, one thing that I have to say up front, and I always try to say this to you guys, because um, like I have my rods and reels. Um, I have like my tuned up customs. I have my other rods and reels stuff uh, listed in the links uh, below usually. And a big thing a lot of people say is that's really expensive. And I'm like, yes, what I use is not cheap. Um, I, I have cheaper gear. And I use that too. I use everything. I use anything that I can use to advance what I'm using to go fishing. Um, so when you buy these, understand that one of these units is not cheap. And then I'm sure the kit and everything, um, relative to what it does though, I think it's a good deal, personally. I really like you know the way these are built. I like the way that you know um, 
that this little mechanism is put together. Um, they can fall over in slush and stuff like that. They're waterproof. I th think they're waterproof or they're pretty well water sealed. I've had them sitting in slush before on accident and they still work. Um, but yeah, it's quality costs money and you got to, most people don't understand that anymore these days for some reason, but either way, I'll have them linked below. Like I said before, I'll try to find this case for you guys. It is the best thing that I think I could come up with. Even if you guys only get, um, even if you only get like the remote and then one sensor, uh, that kit that's linked below, it still would be a good investment to have that. And then if you plan on getting more in the future, uh, this fits, this, this case fits six units. So because of that, it's probably one of your better investments. And then, like I said before, protect your stuff, take care of your stuff. Um, you know, put, put it in good cases and, you know, hang it up when it's not in use and all that stuff. Take care of your stuff, guys. It costs money to, you know, play with these toys and, you got to take care of them so you can have them for a really long time. I'm going to be using these vultures for years to come. Um, there's no reason not to. And there's a bunch of like just a bunch of random other extra things that you can use them for. Um, stay tuned for future videos, obviously, for if I, you know, I might use them for something else. I might go out with a buddy trapping or something like that and put them on a trap line or like put them on cameras or, you know, maybe use them for security systems or something. Either way. I hope I helped you guys out today. I hope you guys enjoyed, you know, these kind of videos. Obviously, if you like them, leave a thumbs up. But obviously, if you're not new here, you know what's up. If you are new, can you please just remember to... Yeah.